following video is not made for kids. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello to my subscribers, this is the TFN Geek, and tonight we are going to continue our review of the Seacons who combined to form Piranicon. And here on part 3, we are going to be taking a look at Decepticon Sea Wing, or Kraken, as he was named by Itakara Tomi in Japan. So this figure is Mold Mates with... Uh, Power of the Prime's Cutthroat, who actually was a retool of Power of the Prime's Swoop. And it amazes me that, that the same mold that started off being used as, used as a Pterodon has now been used, used to form a mechanical version of a Manta Ray, which is Sea Wing's uh, beast mode here. We've got the yellow eyes sculpted here. These are actually the robot mode arms that combine to form, that attach to the uh, center of the head, and that part right there is where the uh, mouth of the manta ray would be, so uh, this is C-Wing with all of his accessory pieces attached on him. This is the best part art of attaching them, where they look symmetrical. Uh, C-Wing has quite a bit of accessory pieces. Um, he's got two uh, small laser guns here on here under his uh, wings. Those are separate laser guns, and then he's got a uh, curved dagger sword weapon. That becomes part of Piranicon's trident, and then of course he's got the combiner hand, and then underneath here he has a larger laser gun that he can use in all of his modes. So, uh, move, removing those, those here he is, is in Manta Ray A mode, and um, similar to Cutthroat, the wings can go downward, but they can't really go upward that much, so you can make it look like he's somewhat swimming through the water. Um, I have seen footage of the uh, Transformers uh, Super God Master Force cartoon featuring the Seacons, and uh, Sea Wing w has, was shown in the cartoon series also flying through the air, and uh, uh, here is proof that he is a uh, Mold Mates with, with Power of the Prime's Cutthroat. He's got the exact same legs as Cutthroat, although here for Sea Wing, Takara Tomi flipped them around, so uh, the backward side of the legs are the front side on Cutthroat and vice versa. Ursa, so Sea Wing, he isn't an actual manta ray, a, a unlike the Beast Transformers character of Depth Charge from Beast Wars. He's actually a, a manta ray mutant that has a pair of legs, legs that allows him to walk on land, and he can also fly through the air. So you can get the uh, legs of Sea Wing in different positions depending on how you want him. Uh, where I had him before, where the legs are completely uh, folded up like this, that's the best angle to have them if you want him uh, and him sitting on a solid surface because when you actually uh, straighten the legs and you position them out two-thirds of sea wing which is m a vast majority of his already of his uh, beast mode oh if you try and stand sea wing on a solid surface he's just gonna flop forward because these legs cannot support or this uneven distribution of weight where two-thirds of the figure are on front and uh, that's not even uh, one third, but one fourth of it is behind them. So, yeah, good luck trying to get Sea Wing to stand on a solid surface without him falling full or like this. But yeah, overall, I do enjoy the design of how how he came out. A uh, Sea Wing does have uh, quite a bit of paint apps on him, as you can see here on the underside on the underside of his wings. They're cast in black plastic, so this uh, oh this uh, pink and I think it is and uh, turquoise on his wings. That's all. Paint. I I get I cover this with uh, snap trap and scaler so far, but uh, Takara because these Seacons are Takara Tom exclusive figures, they don't use any stickers for stickers for highlighting detailing. It's all paint apps. So I really enjoy Takara Tommy for going the extra mile with that and not using stickers, unlike what Hasbro does for detailing on some of their Transformers figures. Figures and then uh, one thing I was going to. Uh, uh, mention, mention, I forgot to mention this in my review of Scalar. Scalar, so I'll do it now while we're looking at Sea Wing. But one thing to note about the Sea Cons, if I haven't mentioned this already, in Japan, Takara Tomi made Snap Trap slash Turtler, the team leader of the Sea Cons, um, in the Transformers Super God Master Force cartoon. Um, Snap Trap was the only Sea Con who possessed sentient intelligence. The other Sea Cons who combined to form uh, Piranicons, arms, legs, and uh, target master they were all just mindless drones and there were dozens of them and that would surround snap trap and protect him while the autobots tried to fight off the seacons so the seacons were almost like the 
Insecticons, the Seekers, the Sweeps, the Viacons from Transform Armors Prime. You get the idea. They were basically drones that ones that gather around. And there's one screenshot uh, from Super God Master Force where there's up to 10 copies of Sea Wing flying through the air. Aaron, so that's how Takaratomi portrayed a, the Sea Cons in the Super God Master Force cartoon, even though each of them and got their own own names and identities. Uh, the Seacons have never appeared in any uh, Transformers media apart from the comic books here in the United States, so uh, Hasbro hasn't really focused on the Seacons that much. Um, one nice thing you can do about uh, do about uh, Sea Wing is that if you want him to look look uh, slightly more like a manta ray, what you can do is you can flip out the uh, robot mode fists, and at least from a front angle, it can look like he has the two uh, um, extensions that uh, manta rays have have on the sides of their mouths. But yeah, overall, I do enjoy how or the design of this figure. Figure, and yes, a sea wing is very flat, at which is appropriate considering his his beast mode is a manta ray, and like stingrays, manta rays have flat body types to help propel them through the water faster. So without further delay, now that we've looked at him in beast mode, let's get sea wing transformed and take a look at him in robot mode. Alright, and so here is Sea-Wing transformed into his robot mode. You have two options with his weapons. You can either take the uh, uh, dual laser guns that he has on his wings from Manta Ray mode and put them in his hands, or you can arm him up with his two larger weapons. Here is his uh, main laser gun weapon. It's all cast in black plastic, and then it's painted in the same uh, uh, bluish turquoise that the other Seacons have. And then, of course, here's his dagger-type weapon. This forms one of the uh, blades of Piranacon's trident, and there's a close-up of... Uh, sea wings head sculpt oh it's, uh, very nice detailing very nice paint apps on here and if you have power of the primes cutthroat <clears throat> despite the retooled parts um as far as articulation goes in robot mode it's nothing new compared to cutthroat and also the original version of the mold of power of the prime swoop head is on a ball joint so it can look left and right right 360 degrees um he's um i want to say it's approximately one millimeter down but it can't look upward due to how it transforms arms and unfortunately um i forgot to uh, uh lock the chest in place so there's a uh, sea wings uh decepticon symbol um civil joint point at the waist ace the arms can have the ability to go rotate forwards and backwards at the shoulder 360 degrees since it's on a ball joint but the wings wings get in the way so unfortunately there's no chance of the arms going backwards bicep swivel hinged elbow and um the arms can ratchet inward and outward at the wrists, but that's mainly due to transformation. Uh, ball jointed hips, so the legs can go out. Um, they can't go out a full 180 degrees, so Sea Wing unfortunately cannot do a split. But the legs can go forward or that far. They can go backwards that far, so there's quite a lot of forward and backward movement in the legs. Egg a swivel joint. Oh, and it thighs. Eyes and even though the knee joints look like rat look like rat hatchets here on the back, they're actually actually hinge joints. Joints and then there's no articulation in the feet, feet whatsoever. And unfortunately, just like Cutthroat, um, there's no way of locking the uh, beast mode legs in place. They just kind of sit here on the sides of the shins of the robot mode legs, and that's pretty much it. But yeah, uh, overall, I do believe Sea Wing is uh, pretty impressive looking, and um, uh, to my knowledge, he has become the first uh, Transformers figure in my collection that has a Manta Ray for a Beast mode. Owed, I've owed, owed so. Hopefully, we'll be able to uh, um, uh, get a modern day figure of a uh, Depth Charge, so or so there can be a heroic versus an evil Manta Ray, a battle between these two characters. But overall, I do enjoy how he, way the way the way uh, Takara Tomi was able to take this mold, old and design a manta ray from it. So without further delay, we'll, we will get into uh, the combined the combined mo odes that Sea Wing can transform into. We will start off with uh, arm mode, and then we'll work our way a through the other modes. Alright, I apologize. When I said we were going to start with arm mode, I meant to say we were going to finish with arm mode, since that is the mode that Sea Wing is in when you, in a, when you officially combine the Seacons into Piranacon. 
So we'll actually start off, off showing off E-Wing as a leg. So here he is. Here he is. It's very similar to Cutthroat. Oh, the main difference is that you can attach all of Seawing's laser guns here on the front of him. Front of him and make it look like Piranicon has, has a... Has a... Not necessarily a... A knee pad, but... Uh, but it is, is uh, pretty impressive looking and it does fill it out, out as much. Uh, so yeah, overall, uh, really decent combined mode. Um, uh, I have Seawing here as a uh, left side leg and then to... Switch the widget from a left side leg to a right side leg. You just rotate the combiner thumb around and have it act as a, a heel spur, as a part of the heel, heel on there. And yeah, overall, uh, pretty impressive looking. Looking, and yes, that is C-Wing as one of uh, Piranicon's legs. Alright, and so, oh, I didn't really have to pause the video, but to get it C-Wing from leg mode to uh, you are target master mode you just take the uh, his three laser guns off of this part right here which is the centerpiece of his uh, beast mode head and you plug it into the five millimeter port that the combiner liner foot was attached to place the three laser guns on there angle the combiner peg down like that and then bringing in a sea wings own uh, Combiner hand to get into target master mode. You take the cap off of the combiner hand. Insert and there is C wing as one E wing as a target master for Piranicon. Again, as I mentioned earlier in the video. Uh, Takara Tomy decided to make it that the Seacons were just like the Viacons from Transformers Prime or from earlier seasons of G1, the Insecticons, the Sweeps, and the Seekers, where there's dozens of them and they're mindless drones. So if you wanted to, um, including the Target Master mode, you could, you could get up to five copies of each of the deluxe class-sized Seacons, and you would have a full-on uh, Piranicon combiner, provided you get a Snap Trap to make Piranicon's torso, so... Yeah, overall, I, oh, an interesting concept for, for Dakar Tommy to, um, to give to the Seacons, making them uh, mindless drones. Um, for some Transformers fans and collectors who haven't been able to get all five of the uh, individual Deluxe Class Seacons, that concept of Dakar Tommy is having them all be, having them actually be uh, mindless drones that are, exists in several do as in, uh, in number... Remember, it's motivated uh, uh, fans and collectors to try and get duplicate copies of some of the uh, easier to find deluxe class S uh, C cons. So, uh, just to speed things right along, I'm not going to pause the video. I'll just uh, get C Wing transformed into arm mode right now while we're here. Here, so to go from uh, leg slash. Uh, A uh, target master mode, you just extend uh, C Wing's legs, flip them out, and then attach the combiner hand here on the bottom. Bottom end. Unfortunately, the tabs on C Wing's robot mode legs, they don't like to uh, stay connected, so they do tend to uh, split apart or quite easily. right here just checking something really fast okay I thought so all right and so going off by Takara Tomy's official product photos here is Seawing transformed into a um, right side arm arm for Piranicon and yes overall uh, again if for, for being a uh, retool of power of the primes cutthroat cutthroat slash swoop Oopa, Seawing does a decent job of looking like a pretty decent limb bot uh, for Piranicon. I apologize, it's late at night and I have to get up early tomorrow morning, so I'm trying to wrap up the review and my mind is working faster than my tongue, so I'm having trouble getting words out. So to get Seawing into the official, official mode that he's supposed to be in for Piranicon, just rotate this around and then 
rotate the fist and have the thumb be on the opposite side. And so officially in officially C Wing ing forms the left side arm for Piranicon. So there he is right there. As you can see I've you know, I still have scalar in leg mode and I got snap trap back there as uh Piranicon's torso. But once I get around to reviewing all of the limb limbs I will start to Combine them and we will see Piranicon completed in the seventh and final part of this review series. So thank you guys all so much for watching. This has been my review of part three of the, the Piranicon Seacons. This has been Sea Wing, Ing the Manta Ray. Yeah, I do highly recommend. And getting him. And thank you guys all so much for watching. And until next time, you guys, stay safe, stay healthy. This has been the TFN Geek. Transform and roll out. Goodbye, everyone.